Welcome to Sarasota History Alive. I'm Lee Gaines, your host, and today we are at the newly restored C.B. Wilson House at Erfer Family Park. But this lovely building story does not begin here. The Wilson House was moved to this location to be the centerpiece of Sarasota County's first Silver Lead certified park. We'll learn more about the park and the move later in the show. Dr. Colin Bryant Wilson, better known as C.B., was born in Old Mayaca in 1878. He received his degree from the South Florida Military College, which is now the University of Florida. He graduated from the Medical College of Alabama and became a registered pharmacist. He married Fanny Reeves of Fruitville in 1904 and established his medical practice here two years later. The C.B. Wilson House was constructed in 1906 in downtown Sarasota near the intersection of South Orange Avenue and Ringling Boulevard and was clad in cast stone. Cast stone, also called pressed stone, was made by pressing very dry cement into molds and was used in Sarasota from the turn of the century through the 1920s. Initially, Dr. Wilson relied on his horse, Lady, to make house calls, but he was determined to modernize his practice. So, in 1909, he traveled to Tampa and purchased an REO Gentleman's Roadster. It took him five hours to get his prized horseless carriage home, making him the first automobile owner in our community. Imagine the astonished look on his neighbor's faces as he drove into town. I was the first to own and use an automobile in this town. The townspeople watched my experiment, as they termed it, very closely. Some of the I told you so's were really provoked at the end of the first month because I had not been towed home by horsepower. The maximum cruising speed of the car was 30 to 35 miles per hour, and Dr. Wilson proudly mounted his medical Cadusa on the grill of his dashing REO. The Wilson House was enlarged in 1913 with a wood frame addition to create a full second story. It was much needed to accommodate seriously ill patients. There was no hospital back then, and the Wilson's great-granddaughter, Carol Marshall, recalled that the youngest members of the family often slept on the floor, giving up their beds to needy patients. In 2004, Clyde H. Wilson, Jr., along with his sister, Paula C. Wilson, were instrumental in saving the Wilson House from demolition. The Friends of Sarasota County Parks, the Sarasota Alliance for Historic Preservation in Sarasota County also contributed to the relocation efforts. The house was moved in portions at night to Erfer Family Park. After the house was in place and stabilized, rehabilitation work began. The project was completed in the fall of 2010. The original cast stone of the exterior of the house was so badly deteriorated that it was entirely replaced with new stones cast on site using molds created from the originals. Windows and woodwork in the house were fully refurbished and care was taken to investigate the original colors in order to restore them as accurately as possible. Dr. Wilson was on staff at Sarasota Hospital from the time it was founded in 1925 until his death in 1941. The Sarasota Herald Tribune said of him, the old time family doctor held in high esteem and today largely cherished as a memory was exemplified in his practice of medicine. In his death, Sarasota loses a valuable citizen. legacy lives on at Erfer Family Park and Abraham Trail Center. This Sarasota County Trail Center is made possible through a generous donation from Emily and Roland Abraham. I'd like to thank you for joining us today. 
You can check out more videos on SarasotaHistoryLive.com, online, and now on your smartphone at mobile, SarasotaHistoryLive.com, where history happens every day.